147 Zulu weather, wind 210 at 6, visibility 10, ceiling 2500 overcast. What's that? 2.11, altimeter 3005. ILS runway 29 right approaching east, planning departing runway 29. Orange tower frequency 133.075. All pilots required to read back, hold short instructions of call flight. 22.5. What do you do? Uh, do uh, just cross check? Yes. Winding the lights out. Oh, we got green. the green on the our engine RPM is down, but we're what? still the engine RPM is. Uh, okay, it's down. Okay, so is this the engine failure? But no, because the engine's running okay. So yes, it's a uh, tachometer failure. So what do you do? Um, yes, remaining the tachometer or rotor speed. You see, rotor speed is still green arc, so that means the yeah, engine well, rotor is working properly. The carbon are working yeah. properly, so we'll go back to the airport. Is right side clear? Uh, right side is clear. Okay, make a right down. Okay. So that's the, okay, that's my rotor. Oh, arc. so we're just, that, that's what we would do if the tachom, if the engine RPM is actually out. If we just head back to the airport. Yes. Okay. Yes. If all stack of air, uh, book says it land as the track fell. Okay. So even if, if you know if we lose the one tackle, we'll do we'll, we'll land it as soon as possible anyway. Right. Just as but as long as it, the engines everything's running fine, we're okay. Right. We'll be leave the cabin and then uh, continue flight land as soon as track. Okay. I have a control. You have control. I have control. You follow my control, please. Okay. Example. Uh, in, well, let's say tack, uh, clutch light comes on. Okay. Clutch light on now. Okay, one, oh. two, ground, three, four, four, five, six, four, seven, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten seconds. Still on. Pull out the clutch target and, and reduce power. Throw the collective system uh, out. Okay, we're just blowing the from west behind us. We have to find a uh, landing spot. Clutch right on. We do land immediately. Okay, I see a nice opening spot there. So we'll land there. So we want to fly. Uh, we don't want to fly for a long time. So we land. We want to land as soon as possible. So we're saying that the clutch light is still on right now. Yes, Just still on. Yes, it's a simulation. It's right, on, but right. It's, uh, let's, let's if, if it were on, yes. yes. So we want to make a headwind, but we want to land as soon as uh, possible. So we'll make a crosswind approach this time. And I see, okay, opening spot there. Do you see the dart opening spot? That is not good because uh, we, you know, we lose visibility. But, you know, no choice. Uh, that's the only one place. This dark land. spot up here, you're saying? Yes, okay, right there. Okay. okay. And we'll make a little bit steep approach because there is oil tanks. So right. Okay, go around, uh, up collective, and take off. The surface looks uh, flat. Right. I see dark, so probably we'll, we'll lose visibility. Okay. And I see also telephone poles, so the yes. wires that we're talking right. about. Okay, good. You have control? I have control. You have. Okay, so about the clutch light. If the clutch light comes on, we have to count to 10 seconds. Okay. And, and if the light's still on. And why do we do that? Why do we count? We count to 10 seconds. Clutch light indicated clutch motor engaging or disengaging. Yes. So if clutch light stays on uh, ten, more than 10 seconds, that's something wrong. Okay. But if, it's, uh, if the lights come out, come out uh, in, within 10 seconds, it's normal. So, you know, the, if the lights come out in ten, uh, within 10 seconds, we can continue the flight. That's okay. not normal. But if the light stays on more than 10 seconds, we have to land immediately. So pull okay. up the circuit breaker to stop the clutch motor, you know. Uh, oh, so that's, you want to pull working. up the, the circuit breaker. That's what you were doing after the yes. count of 10. That's okay. right. And then we have to find the landing spot and land immediately. Do you have any questions? No. I don't. Okay. Okay, so we'll do, okay, we'll do clutch light process. Okay, clutch light on. Okay. One, One two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, seven eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Just a touch, don't pull up. Okay. Okay, so then what do you do? Reduce power. Oh. Okay, what is the wind direction right now? Uh, from the west, so we're heading from west, west right now. Right, okay, so where do you land? Uh, maybe that um, this field up here, that field okay, over there. Slow down, slow down. Where? Where? Do you have to decide it. The one over to our left there, that soccer field, I think is okay, what I would... Okay, then you have to make a... What kind of approach do you make? A steep approach from yeah, here. but we don't want to make a steep... We have to make a normal approach angle as much as possible. Okay. So I say it will be too steep, but that's fine. Not, or you can choose there. Okay, go right. around. Up collective. Go around. Up collective. Climb. Climb. With 53 knots. I choose right there. That parking lot? Yes. Even with the poles and stuff there? That would be yeah, kind of scary to me. Yeah, still have enough, uh, uh, enough clearance. For me, uh, for me, it's comfortable, but for you, probably not. Then you can choose a green field here. But that green field you choose, that's too close. Right, You yes. have to make a really steep approach. So I don't recommend you. If you have more choice, you know, a little bit farther away, then you, you should choose that spot. Okay, okay, get the speed up. We'll keep about 700 feet. Okay, uh, main road, the temperature lights come on. I have a control. You have control? I have. Okay, main road, the temperature lights on. We'll check the abnormal vibration, noise, and also abnormal temperature. Example, today outside is very hot. Okay, check the engine gauges, it's very high. Outside temperature is very high. Okay, so it's abnormal. So we have to land immediately. Wind from west. So I'm going to land, do you see the towers? So there's the wires. Yes. So we two avoid the wires. Let's see. Okay, I'll go this way. I will make a crosswind approach. So I'll do a headwind approach. I'll make a, a little bit left down and then make a final there and then I will land right there. In that little triangular, triangular field? Triangle place, yes. And I will make a little bit steep approach. Okay, go around. You have a control? Uh, I have control. Yes, you have. Decline. Don't make a note down anymore. Use power to climb. 22.5. The blimp makes kind of a good weather or wind sock too, doesn't it? That's right. So, uh, good, uh, a blimp always ahead into the wind. So right now, wind is blowing from west. Okay, one thing I, I guess I keep thinking with this, I need, I keep thinking auto rotation and I need to land immediately, but we don't have to, we, we want to land right away, but it's not like we have to land like we are going down. We, we just have to find a spot real quick and get down if there's a problem, but we still have control. For so in your okay. failure, you have to enter rotation. For land immediately, definition of land immediately on the POH, it doesn't say enter rotation. Depends. Right, okay. So I, that's, I mean, my mind is thinking we have to, right but we have enough time to to make a, an approach and to pick something. If engine is okay, we should use engine power. It's more safe. Yes. So if dueling applies, uh, main road, the chip lights come some. Okay, so. Okay, so that means there's some metal that's gotten. Yes, inside of, in, in the, in the main road, okay. So you have to check abnormal vibration, noise, and temperature. Okay, we still have no more noise. Okay, go ahead. What do you do? Land immediately. Okay. Reduce power. Okay. Do you want to play the carbon monoxide lights come so carbon monoxide indicate there's carbon you know uh, in the cabin? Yes, it's carbon, you know, from the uh, exhaust. Right. When we use the carburetor the heat. Okay. So go ahead, turn off the carburetor the heat. The Car carburetor the heat is here. Okay, we push down and open the vent. And open, you know, door vents. Side vents, yes. okay. And um, maybe land immediately. It depends. If the cabin heater is off, that's off. When the lights on, probably it's outside. So no way. I uh, see. It's very sensitive uh, sensor. So I saw, I saw, you know, the carbon, this light comes from dwelling place without using a cabin oh, cabin, really? okay. cabin heater. Okay. So. If we have using a cabin, a cabin heater, probably it's not uh, from, the hel in, from the helicopter exhaust. So we maybe continue flight. Okay. Uh, next one, tail rotor chip light. The only flight, if the tail rotor chip light comes on, it's the same as main rotor chip. We check everything. Just abnormal. 
uh, normal vibrations. Uh, and uh, no noise. Noise. And abnormal, ab abnormal temperature. Okay. Okay, we hear abnormal uh, noise. What is okay, about the low fuel light, the lights indicate the helicopter has only one gallon uh, usable and uh, for five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Yes. So after five minutes, engine quit. So if the light comes on, we have to check the fuel gauge, probably it's empty. Uh, we have to land immediately. Okay. okay. Left pedal, train center. Okay, 700 feet, level off. Okay, so next one is low RPM lights. Do you see low RPM lights? Yes, light? uh, yes. So the only thing play is low, low RPM lights and the whole work. We'll do lower and open throttle. We did it last time. Yes, I remember that. We do lower and open. Open, same time. And lower and open, okay. Yes, and a little bit of cyclic. Lower the collective makes no sound. So to maintain the same attitude, when you recover lower top beam, we'll apply a little bit of cyclic. Okay, now, uh, uh, alternate lights on. So if the alternate lights come on, that's indicated uh, low voltage or alternator failure. So okay. if the alternator is not uh, charging at all, that means we uh, use only, you know, we, we have only uh, electrical power from battery. So if the battery dies, we don't have po uh, electrical power anymore. Engines still run without the alternator, without, you know, engine uh, electrical power. Yes. But uh, tachometer and the governor work with electrical so power. So if battery will die, die, then we don't have uh, governor and we don't have tachometer. Oh, the tach, okay. Right. So if we don't have only governor, that's fine. We we still can make right. you know, uh, sort of control manually, and we can we have a tachometer. But if the battery died, then uh, tachometer died too. So we don't we have no idea yes. about RPM too high. We damage the rotor system now and we damage engine. Is it so both tachometers go out then? I mean the engine and the rotor. Yeah, both. Both. Okay. So engines are still running, but tachometer failed because yes. tachometer work it with needs the, the electricity. Yes. Okay. Make a right hand. Yeah. Clear right. So uh, too high RPM, no good. We damage the rotor system and we damage engine. Too low, no good because we'll have a low rotor RPM and blade stall. So we cannot fly. Uh, it's very hard to fly without yes. the tachometer. Okay. So we really need a tachometer. So if Battery completely die, no way to fly. Yes. It's very dangerous, a hazardous condition. Yeah, especially if you're, yeah, your tax out, I can see what that's... So, uh, if the, if the, you know, alternate light comes on, we have to check, uh, we have to, you know, uh, check uh, what the problem is. For example, uh, we'll turn off an, an essential, you know, electrical uh, equipment, and then reset the alternator switch, and if the light, goes out, that means it was a low voltage, so we can continue, continue flight. But if the light still stays on, that's no good. Uh, you know, we're using our own uh, battery uh, electrical power, so we right. have to land in 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes, okay. Yes, I recommend 20 minutes, okay. Uh, let me show you, I have a control. You have control? I have. Okay, so dueling flight, alternator lights come on. Okay. okay. We have to turn off the, uh, you know, your electrical system. We okay. don't need examples. Let's turn off the strobe lights and maybe radio off and landing lights. Make sure landing lights off. Of course, navigation uh, switch off. Make sure map lights off. Okay. And then go ahead and reset the alternator switch off. One second after one second on. Okay. And if the light still stays on, landing 20 minutes. So where do you go? Well, I go back to our airport right. from here. Okay. Yeah. Right, we go back to Torrance Airport. And if the light goes out, we don't need to land. We can continue flight. You have okay. control? I have control. You have? Yeah, clear right. Okay. I got a bird up above us there. Okay. So if the oil pressure light comes on during flight, um, of course, engine failure, uh, oil, oil pressure light comes on. But in engine failure, we we have, you know, indication of left yawing and engine noise goes down. So let's forget the engine failure. If the oil pressure light comes on, engine is still running, uh, check their, if engine is still running, we'll check the oil pressure. Okay. Okay, and the, uh, all engine gauges, example, oil pressure is low. Okay, 
so we have to land the base. And check the wind direction and then find the landing spot and land. Okay. Okay. Okay, dueling flight. Have an off flight on. What did you? Okay, um, well, I, what, I gotta monitor the engine RPM. No, check the cabin. Oh, just check the on. switch, okay. On. Go ahead, yeah. Okay, good. Rolling a flight. Okay, I have control. You have control. Okay, look at the RPM. It's How is low. It? It's low. So, what problem is this? Probably. The, the, well, I guess either the governor or the Maybe engine. Maybe governor, okay. Uh, so, what do you do? Well, it's I can try to try to make to see if the switch is on or not. Okay, but it's on. But it's on, so okay. I can try giving it the throttle manually, I guess, yes. to give and it more. For you, cabin switch off, and then okay. you control the throttle manually. Okay. Yeah, come traffic, Cessna taking two five left for departure. Come. Okay, make a one eighty turn. One eighty turn. So if engine fail right now, where do you land? That parking lot right over to our right. Okay. Do you think we reach there? Yes. What is the wind well, direction? Well, let's see. We're at a, yeah, I would think we should. Uh, wind direction is off our right quarter. Engine fight and failure. Up collective wind. Up collective wind. Green 65. You have to decide, uh, you know, the route. If you go directory, you, you get the long landing. You, you know, to get it on target, go a little bit left. Left, a little bit left, right. See, the space is long, yes. so we want to... I see, now. yes. Okay, power on. Engine green. Climb. Up, collect it. Uh, Do you think uh, we reach to 29 or left if engine fail right now? I would think so. You think so? It would be, might be close, but I, I would think we would. Engine fail. Up, collect it. 95. 95% wind up. Green 65 target, green 65 target. Our target is a 29 left, so looks like a, you're making a long landing. Is it 45 degrees or steeper or shallow, shallower? Uh, green 65, how do you think? I'm sorry, what, I, I think speed. we would make it at this you point. You make a long landing, I don't think, do you understand? If that's our, if that's well, our if target. If the numbers is our target, we're gonna overshoot that. So right. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, land on two nine left. Go straight and I make a left. Go straight. That's the two nine left. Okay, and then now left hand. Okay, clear to land. Okay, yes, continue descend. Continue descend. Okay, 40, uh, 40 feet, gentle flare, engine on, and up collective. Okay, nice. Okay, four four back right cross on departure. Yes, okay, very good. You have to make a 